now return to the world's sharpest on Modern Marvels. The terrifying rows of shark teeth carving through helpless prey. The needle points of a porcupine. The prickly thorns of a rose. While man has been honing cutting edges for thousands of years, Mother Nature has been perfecting hers for millions. Understanding this, researchers at the University of San Diego are seeking to mimic nature's sharpest creations and to engineer ever sharper technologies in the future. They're paying particular attention to the notion that in nature, harder doesn't always mean sharper. It's very interesting to see that weak materials, soft materials, when put into a, a, a really optimized structure, can cut through materials that are sometimes much harder or tougher. Common grass, filled with cellulose, is a perfect example. You wouldn't imagine that something as simple as a blade of grass could be a sharp cutting edge. Well, in fact, it really can. I mean, if you think about it, a blade of grass is made up from very weak materials. But it can oftentimes leave you with scars and, and cuts that you'd never imagined possible. The microstructure is what creates that cutting edge. An optimized microstructure also holds the key to how the mosquito, a creature that's killed more humans than war, is able to puncture tough hides and flesh with its needle stinger proboscis. If you think about a mosquito, the needle has to actually enter your skin and be able to retract out very quickly after it's finished and just do this sort of painlessly, right? So it can fly away without you even noticing. The tip of the needle, it has some serrations. And these small serrations cut through the tissue, okay? And it doesn't compress the tissue. This puncturing ability is different than a conventional syringe needle, which terminates at an angled point, like a sharp-ended straw. Japanese researchers are mimicking the mosquito to develop a pain-free syringe. Just as the mosquito's proboscis tip is lined with serrations, so too is the prototype syringe. Also, in contrast to a conventional shape, the needle is thinner and shorter to reduce friction and skin contact. The rat, nature's quintessential urban pest, has also provided scientists a model to craft a cutting blade that never dulls. As we know, rats will show through electrical wire, to drywall, to everything that they find. And that's also a way in which they keep their teeth sharp. What we have here is a skull of a rat with the incisors and uh, the screen here shows those four rat teeth. Uh, this is the upper incisor and this is the lower teeth. The external layer has the hard enamel and here is the inside that is the softer dentin. As a rat chews and bites, the dentin wears away faster than the enamel. This preserves the incisor's sharp pointed shape. If it was a uniform material, we will end up with teeth that would be completely flat. Using the rat's self-sharpening incisors as a guide, researchers in Germany have developed so-called self-sharpening milling blades. Emulating the rat tooth's hard enamel and soft dentine combination, the milling blades consist of a hard ceramic layered over a softer tungsten carbide core. Designed to shred paper, the blades rotate around a vertical axis. The softer core wears away more quickly, allowing the blade to retain its sharp shape. Perhaps even more notoriously sharp than rat's teeth are those of the ferocious piranha. Its mouth full of sharp daggers sliced through flesh and bone with great ease. But surprisingly, it has relatively weak jaw muscles. The piranha secret? It's perfectly efficient jawline geography. Each triangular tooth angles to an unusually sharp 45 degree point. Additionally, the piranha's underbite leaves virtually no space between the upper and lower teeth when they chop down. And studying this nasty dental work under a microscope reveals a surprising detail. If you look in the scanning electron microscope, we were able to identify very, very small serrations. The jagged edge of each tooth eases the piranha's bite into its prey, 
minimizing the amount of force needed for penetration. The fact that the teeth are so well designed leads us to believe that we can create a scissors that use the same angles and the same configuration of the piranha. Imitating the tight fit of the piranha's bite, the proposed scissors would be lined with jagged edges. Additionally, each edge would also contain tiny serrations so that every snip could potentially cut meat, bone, or leather as easily as conventional scissors cut paper. What nature provides is this inspiration. We look at nature and say, aha, that's how the rat structures his or her teeth. So can I use this concept and apply it to a sharp cutting edge? We can take our new materials, our hard materials like titanium and different plastics and things like this, and apply those lessons from nature and create things that are beyond your wildest imagination. We're immersed in a world of razor cuts and prickly points. And if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, science will continue complimenting Mother Nature in the never-ending search for the next